In the last video, we learned the debt to equity ratio. In this lesson, we're going to go over a real life example of the debt to equity ratio. We are going to be looking at Amazon's balance sheet. This is MarketWatch, a great website for looking up information about companies. I also like to use Nasdaq.com, Yahoo Finance, and a few others. We know from the last video that to calculate debt to equity ratio, we need to divide total debt by shareholders equity. So if we look at Amazon's balance sheet, to find a company's debt, we have to scroll down until we hit the liabilities. On the balance sheet, the total debt is short-term debt and current portion of long-term debt plus long-term debt. We are going to add Amazon's debt to equity ratio in 2012. So on Amazon's balance sheet, we need to add 1.14 billion to 3.83 billion. So let me pull out the calculator and add up these two numbers real quick. which comes to 4.97 billion. To get shareholders equity, we have to further scroll down until we get to total shareholders equity, which is 8.19 billion. So now all we have to do is divide 4.97 billion to 8.19 billion and we get the debt to equity ratio. So once I pull out the calculator and enter 4.97 billion divided by 8.19 billion, we get 0.61. In the last video, we learned that the smaller the debt equity ratio you have, the better. A debt equity number of one means a company has just as much debt as it has equity. If the number is greater than one, that means that the company has more debt than equity. We know from the math that Amazon has more equity than debt, nearly twice as much equity to debt at least in 2012. Now let's calculate the debt equity ratio for 2016. In 2016, Amazon has $5.2 billion in short-term debt and $15.21 billion in long-term debt. Let me pull out the calculator and add $5.2 billion to $15.21 billion and we get 20.41 billion. Their total shareholders equity is 19.29 billion. So if we calculate their debt to equity ratio, we divide 20.41 billion by 19.29 billion, we get 1.06. From these two calculations, we can see that Amazon's debt to equity ratio has increased by 0.44 from 2012 to 2016, which isn't good. That means that Amazon has more debt than equity and its debt has increased over the years compared to its equity. That doesn't mean you shouldn't invest in the company, but it's definitely an indicator that you wanna be wary of the company. Now to really get a clear pattern of what's going on with their debt to equity ratio, we should calculate 2013, 2014, and 2015, which I'm going to leave that for you to calculate. In the next lesson, we will go over the current ratio. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it the thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos. If you really want to be cool, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.